Thank you. How's everyone doing? Yeah? Awesome. You know the the story that was like, it was really popular before, just before I left town. Uh, it was like really big news and it, it, nobody was talking about it. That was the weird part. But it was on the news every night was there were feet washing up on shore, right? And not just one and then two, mystery solved, right? Left, right, done. Um, right? It was like a, it was a series of them. Uh, up until like there was five and then there was a six, but it was a dog paw and a shoe. And you're like, what the f is that? And it's like the craziest news story ever. And like nobody in Vancouver gave a shit. Everybody was just like, mm, I hope it doesn't rain this summer. <laughs> Craziest goddamn thing that's ever happened, ever. <laughs> Feet washing up on shore. Yawn. Next. I'm, I'm mostly doing uh, material I'm not sure will work because this is going to be shown in Yale Town on a loop for a month. <laughs> so I'm like... So it's kind of it's my, like, <laughs> you Yale Town set. You know? Like, where I'm just kind of like, yeah... I want to kind of like eat my <laughs> Yale town, etc. Mm -mm -mm. uh, there's so many stores in Yale town that cater to dogs. It's ridiculous because they have <laughs> all money. They have zero money, dogs. <laughs> it's like every other store. It's like dog paradise, dog this and that. Um, my favorite dog uh, situation that I've ever seen was where a woman was in front of a Starbucks and she dumped out the dog water dish and filled it with bottled water for her dog. Like the dog's like, oh, thank you, Perrier. Oh, something to wash down the taste of my own ass. You're the best. Thanks for being such a considerate owner. Uh, you know when you read it in a book and then you get to the end of the book and then the last page tells you what kind of font the book was written in. This is for the two people who giggle because they read books. Everybody else just tune out. Um, but you know, you get to the end and it says like, you know, this was printed in Hedavicus or whatever. And like, why is it at the end? Like you're not in your head, you're like, ah, oh, I think it's Lionel Type Saban. I had <laughs> and then you get there, ah, Hedavicus. <laughs> I was way off. The only time I would care is if you got to the end and it was like, this book was written in wingdings. And you're like, that's why it didn't make it <laughs> sense. There's no actual letters in there. It's just like a basketball hoop and a bird's nest. Oh, that... <laughs> I uh, was over at my friend's house and he was having trouble with his can opener. And uh, hot dogs and Brian, they're going again. And... He, was, he said that thing that people say when they get mad at technology, where he's like, they can put a man on the moon, but they can't make a decent can opener. I was like, it's different guys working on that, man. Not, like, you gotta relax, all right? It's not just one huge agency that's like toboggans and can openers and rockets. They're just all, oh, I forgot. Ah, can just send them out. I'll see if it works. Mm -mm. The best news story that we should all concern ourselves with is in Austria, there's been no less than four uh, abductions of women where the guy has kept the woman in a basement for like many, many years, right? Yeah, right, there was, there was a guy, yeah, exactly. There was a guy and like he had a whole family and so Austria's <laughs> up and the cops should start knocking on some doors, maybe. And just like, hey, do you have, can we go in your basement? And if the guy's like, oh, <laughs> then you should definitely go in his basement. <laughs> but there was this one woman who it had been seven years. She was in this basement, she, was rescued and she was going on with her life and in Austria she was given her own talk show which is instantly going to be the best talk show that's ever existed because no matter what guest she has on she'll be like please welcome to my show Mr. Kanye West Mr. West my first question for you is who are you? I have no idea I've been in a basement for seven years
is Friends still popular? Um, and on and on. Yeah. Come I, on over. Okay, all right. Um, because uh, is uh, Thunderstruck's ready to go? Is that Thunderstruck's it? ready to go? You know, there's there's this energy level. When you hit it, you're just like, we gotta go now. Is this it? Was yeah. that it? <laughs> no, their own energy level. Not, not nothing to do with the. Oh, the so show. they're back, back. <laughs> what are they? Are they lifting weights? <laughs> they're just they're ready, man. They've got creatine bars and, we gotta, and stuff. We gotta respect that. They're Thunderstruck. No, yeah, no. Well, I I I was the same way. I was like, get me on that stage. My energy <laughs> level is about to blow up. Was, <laughs> yeah. I was lifting mini weights. Yeah. Or eating mini weeds. What was I doing? Yeah. Uh, Doesn't matter. Yeah. Mini somethings. Um, I'd like to. I, I had a. I had a song for you. When uh, I had an intro like song for you that I forgot to do. So we would like to do that now. I like, have to sing. No, I'll do it. Oh, thank God. But um, when you were gonna come up, this is what I was gonna say. Joking nine to five. That's the way he makes his living. Graham Clark live. That's the gift that we be giving them. Yeah. Don't turn your head or you just might miss the funny. This guy will make you real sore in your tummy. Graham Clark. Oh, that was well done. Way worth that it, was wasn't well it? Done. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, See, that would have made the whole difference on the whole set have? right there if I came out to that. I know. It would, have, it would have changed everything. Uh... So what do you do with this uh, interview segment? Do, is, is this it? Uh, yeah, we'll probably not even use it. Oh, no, I doubt. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I doubt that very highly. Except, what, um, hey, people, did you know that uh, Graham Clark was also on Last Comic Standing? What, what, was, what was that little experience like? Oh, I should have ta talked about that. It was terrible. Why was it terrible? Oh, well, because uh, I lost to a guy dressed like a monkey. I forgot about that story. I should have done that. Yeah, it was a good yeah, story. In real time. Well, you know what? You snooze, you lose. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is the time where we would usually do... Power Time! Power time!